Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In this lesson, we will talk about photoelectric effect, past paper question from Cambridge A2 Physics. In this lesson, you will learn how to define photon, how to define work function, and how to calculate energy of a photon if its wavelength is given. At the end of the video, we will also talk about the basic condition for the emission of photo electrons from any metal surface. Part A1 is simply asking us what is photon. Photon is simply a packet of energy of electromagnetic radiation. This is how we can define photon. For our next question, simply we need to show that photon energy of light of wavelength 350 nanometers is equal to 5.68 times 10 to minus 19 joules. It is a quite straightforward question if we simply understand the relationship between wavelength and energy of photon. So the basic formula we need for this calculation is simply E is equal to hc over lambda. In this case, h is constant, this is Planck's constant, and c is a speed of light that is also constant. And the lambda is already given to us. We simply need to plug in values and we can calculate photon energy. This is how we can calculate photon energy. Simply in this case, as you can see here, this is value of h and this is value of c. And simply we solve this one and this is over final Answer. For this question, we simply need to find the ratio between energies of two photons. One photon has wavelength that is equal to 700 nanometers and the other photon has wavelength that is equal to 350 nanometers. This question can be done by using different methods, but we will use a simple and a smart one. Let's say lambda is equal to 350 nanometers. So we can also say that two times of this lambda will be equal to 700 nanometers. Meters. Let's say if we need to calculate energy of this photon with the given wavelength, we can say that is E1 and that is simply equal to Hc over lambda. We can also calculate energy of this photon. We can say that is equal to E2 and we can also write down that is equal to Hc over 2 times lambda. Now, we simply need to find the ratio between these two energies. It simply means that we need E to divide by E1. We can also write down this one as C over 2 times lambda multiplied by lambda over at C. We just need to simplify. If we simplify, these two will be cancelled and our final answer will be 0 0.5. For part B1, simply we need to define what is work function of the surface. It simply means that what is the minimum amount of energy required to release electron from the surface. The electron is just at the surface. How much energy we need? The minimum amount of energy. We need. So this is what question is asking us. Now let me help you how to define work function. So this is how we can define work function. We can simply say minimum amount of energy of Photon required to cause emission of electrons from surface of any metal. We need to mention surface and also we need to understand different metals. They have different work function. As we can see here, we have three different metals. They have three different values of work function. For this question, three different types of metals are given to us. As you can see in this table, we have tungsten, magnesium and potassium. Let's say the first one is tungsten and its symbol is W and we have the second one that is magnesium. Uh, we can use also its symbol Mg just for simplicity. And the last one is potassium. We can use its symbol K. And we have two different types of light. Let's say the first light is this. We shine this light on all these metals and its wavelength is also given that is equal to 350 nanometers. We shine this light on all these three different metals. So this is also the lambda. This is equal to 350 nanometers. Also the same light. So it's lambda is also same. That is equal to 350 nanometers. Then we have another type of light and the wavelength of that light is 
700 nanometers we also shine this light on all these three metals now question is simply asking us which combination will give rise to photoelectric emission as the question is simply asking us when photoelectrons will be emitted so we simply need to understand one very basic condition that basic condition is simply if the energy of the photon is greater than or equal to work function of any metal in that case there will be emission of photo electron so simply we need to calculate energy of each photon we need to calculate energy of this photon and also we need to calculate energy of second photon if the energy is greater than work function of any metal in that case photo electrons will be emitted first of all let's calculate energy of each photon as you can see here i have already calculated energy of these photons so the first photon has this much energy that is 3.55 and the second photon has this much energy that is equal to 1.8 as we can see here 1.8 electron volts is less than work function of any matter so it means in this case there will be no emission of photo electron so no emission of photo electrons but this work function 3.55 this is greater than this one so it means that in this case photo electrons will be emitted photo electrons will be emitted in this case from potassium metal so one combination but if we look at the work function of magnesium it is 3.68 and this is greater than 3.55 so in this case only photoelectrons will be emitted from potassium so let me show you the final answer so how to write the full answer so here is how you can write the full answer 